Hey, my name is Steven de Vever. Welcome to this third show me do on the Perl programming language. In the previous part, I talked about scalar variables and how you can assign values to them and how you can print these values to the console. In this part, I will talk about arithmetic operations in Perl, like addition and subtraction. And I will also talk about the conditional statements, if and else. And when talking about if, I will also talk about the evaluation of Boolean expressions in Perl. So I start Perl in interactive mode and I say dollar a equals seven dollar b equals three now I can use the different arithmetic operations like addition so I print the result of dollar a plus dollar b next dollar a minus dollar b dollar a times dollar b and dollar a divided by dollar b And then two more special operators. The first one is a to the power. That's two asterisks without space in between them of b. And a modulo b so I press control D oops okay so I typed an error in the last line I will do that again so a equals 7 b equals 3 and print a Modulo B That's better So the addition results in 7 plus 3 is 10 7 minus 3 is 4 7 times 3 is 21 and 7 divided by 3 is this result 7 to the power of 3 is 343 and then finally 7 modulo 3 that's 1 so 1 is the rest of dividing 7 by 3 okay next uh, we'll talk about conditional statements in Perl. So I'm again going to create A and B if A is more than B print A is more than B. Press Ctrl G. And Perl will evaluate this Boolean expression because we're using the if statement. So if this Boolean expression evaluates to true, this code block will be evaluated. So 
seven a is more than three, so this Boolean expression evaluates to true. I can also do some action when the Boolean expression evaluates to false. If a if b I'm sorry is more than a, so this will re result in false. Anyway, if it's true, I'm going to print a sorry b is more than a and I close the bracket else so if the boolean expression evaluates to false I'm going to print b is not more than A and closing the brackets. I press Ctrl D. And as you can see, this block didn't get executed, but this did. Because this Boolean expression evaluates to false. 3 bigger or more than 7 is false. So the execution will jump to this block, which will get executed. There is an alternative to if, um, actually it's the inverse. I can execute um, statements when a Boolean expression evaluates to false. And I use the unless statement for that. Unless B is more than A. Of course, I need to create A and B first. So, unless B is more than A, print B is not more than A. And closing the brackets and pressing Ctrl D. So as you see, this block gets executed only when this Boolean expression evaluates to false. And I can also use an else in combination with unless. So A is 7, B equals 3. Unless A is more than B. So if A more than B is false, print A is not more than B. Else print A is more than B. So I press Ctrl D and you, as you see because this Boolean expression evaluates to true A 7 more than B 3 is true so this will not get executed but this will. One final alternative notation that I want to show in Pro for if and unless. You can type print A is more than B. Oops. If A is more and B.
print b is not more than a if I'm sorry unless b is more than a so I press control D and if this boolean expression evaluates to true because we're using if this statement will get executed if this boolean expression evaluates to false because we're using unless this statement will be executed this notation is um, influenced by the designer of Perl, which is Larry Wall, and he, one of his, um, one of the concepts in his design is that in Perl, the most significant part of a statement should always come first. In this case, the print statement comes first, and the condition for executing the statement comes second, and the same here. So this is an alternative alternative notation that you may encounter in other other people's Perl scripts, and you of course can use them yourself. So in this part, I showed you how to how to write calculations in Perl, and I also talked about the conditional statements if, else, and unless, else and writing your conditional statement behind or after uh, a statement that has to be executed. In the next part I will talk about lists and hash maps in pearls in Perl and what you can do with those. In the meanwhile uh, I advise you to try out what you've seen so far uh, in Perl yourself and if you have any questions, remarks, or you want me to cover something in this uh, series on the Perl programming language, something specific you would like to learn more about, please leave a comment on the, on the ShowMeDo website. Until next time.